forget to hit that notification bell for you to be updated anytime I upload my videos. Guys, today I have a guest here with me. He is a news reporter, a senior by the way. He is a senior news reporter for KTN Home. Let him give us a bit introduction about So my name is Willy Rusike. I'm a journalist at KTN News, KTN Home at the Standard. Previously I used to work for National Media Group and later I went and worked at the of America, and I came back to KTN. I've been traveling for five years. Yeah, thank you. And if I may ask, what what inspired you to be a journalist? It's passion. Since I was born, I usually used to be a journalist. So I grew up while my parents were really aware that I wanted to be a journalist. So if you want to be a journalist, first you have you should have passion for you to be able to do this course, right? First is passion. Yeah. Two is language. Number three, you should be patient. You wait for God's timing because there's a right time that God comes. You might force things as, at an early age, but they might not work out. But you have to persevere, finally, be able to make it. Thank you. And for you to be a journalist, what do you want? What, what exactly do you should you have there? What takes you to be a journalist or a news reporter? I come from a different school where people like me think it's all about talent first. But second of all, you must have basic education. You must be good in language, that is Kiswahili, English, or any of them. Because there are some journalists who are one language. Like they use one language. There are journalists who do Swahili alone, the others who do English. That's still okay. But for me, it's bilingual. I do Kiswahili, I do English. Like apart from that, also you must get some education. I prefer diploma than degree. Any can do, but you must have something to show that at least you are a journalist. So if you're outside there, for you to be a journalist, you should be good in your language. language yeah. And if I may ask, you have to tell those parents who discourage their children not to do or pursue journalism. The reason why they say journalism has no market, like going to a school to learn about medicine, to become a doctor, you don't have that passion. So even if you get the job, you will not be able to, to deliver. It's not only journalism that doesn't have market, even other careers, it only doesn't have market for people who are not willing or they don't have passion for it. Because if you have passion, you are to school, you are good in language, you will walk to a media house, you will ask for a job. Media houses are opening every day. Like when I joined media, there were very few of them. Now we have so many of them. And it's not a must to go to a media house where you have to speak in English or Swahili. We have so many local language media houses. So it's, it's a big industry. And if you cannot work in a media house, you can still go and work as a communication officer. Every company, every institution, even this one, has a communication uh, department where you, you, you coordinate about writing information about the institution. So it's not all about being on TV, on radio, on newspaper. It's a very big and vast kind of career. It's the only perception that you can of the people. But in reality, there's so many jobs. For how many years have you been, have you been working as a journalist? Seven years. Seven years. Which is the best story that you've ever had uh, I have won many awards. Last year I was declared one of the, I won the Offer Media Award, the best Sans reporting in Africa. And uh, I was I was able to get a grant. The other year I won another award like that one, but it was the best science reporter in Kenya. And then the other year I won another award where I did a story about gender based violence. I won an award. So I can't be able to tell you the story the best. Everything is good. Every new story that I do is my best story. Nice one. So people, you can see we have a winner for a round of journalists. How it feels to be a celeb? You make a career with a celeb, people. How are you feeling? I'm feeling so nice. Nimeka karibu na someone who is an accredited journalist na pia me win award. So what can you tell students or people who are also there and they want to pursue this course or they want to be like a teacher? When I joined National Media Group, the person who was teaching me was Larry Mando. Someone I'd seen in TV so many years, I never thought one day I'd be able to sit together with him. And when I sat with him, he told me three things that I still do up to The one I said, patience. God's timing and working hard. Journalism is about those three. You have to be patient, you have to wait for God's timing, but most importantly, you have to work hard. So it's all about working hard, perseverance, and having a time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so people, thank you for watching us till to the end. You've seen or you've just heard what Willie Lusige has said. So if you're also there and you want to be a journalist like Willie Lusige, like Willie Lusige, sorry, be be have passion first god's time is the best and thank you very much.